So it is, what would it be, about 3, 3 a.m.? Uh, yeah, it's about 3 a.m. right about now. And I was sort of getting ready to go to sleep. And then um, I saw this, which is a, an announcement from the official Lily's Garden YouTube saying that the next episode releasing Monday, which it, it's 3 a.m., so that's technically that's tomorrow. Um, it's going to see the return of Jack Lawrence and a revelation that will make our head spin. Now, he's the private detective. And the reason that I think that's important is because they're saying it's a revelation that will make our head spin. So I believe they might actually tell us who killed Holly. So now instead of going to sleep, I've opened up my project file for the Lily's Garden timeline, and I'm going to get to work on version 3. Um, so that hopefully once this episode releases, I can download it, throw it into the project file immediately, and then release version 3 of the timeline on the same day as that ad, hopefully even in like the same hour or so. Version 3, though, so far is definitely the one giving me the most trouble out of all of them. Uh, most of the ads they've been releasing recently don't really have a clear place in the timeline, which is frustrating on many levels. Um, it, some of the ones that have been released recently also have given me a, a bit of a... a, a different opinion on where things may or may not, like, where, where I may or not have placed them and whether they should be there. So I'm not going to do it for this one, for the interest of time, but um, I think that for version 4 there could be quite a big reshuffling, especially in the earlier period um, of this timeline in, in ad order. So I think version 4 is going to be the biggest one yet. But version 3, which is coming out Monday, there it is, I've said it, I've promised you now, it's coming out Monday. Um, this is just going to include all the ads that have been released these past few months. It's going to slot them in where they seem most logical. Um, and I'm going to try to keep the story cohesive. Uh, an important thing to note is obviously that I, 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 my ultimate goal for this is to turn it into a watchable short film. And therefore storytelling will sometimes take precedent over chronology, chrono chronology, 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 yes, I'm tired, uh, so I, I'm still not quite sure what I'm doing with the flashbacks videos, but I might incorporate them at some point leading up to Holly's death, because they're a part of her story mostly, and it's a very big emotional beat, obviously, but I haven't figured that out quite yet, but again, version 3 coming up Monday, version 4 is the big one, see ya.